What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the rotatable 21.5 inch chrome base all-in-one touchscreen computer. Now this model is available in several variants, but I opted for the Intel Core i3 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Now these specs paired with the large display should make this setup ideal for productivity, media consumption, and storage. Now this video is featured on the Chromebook and Chrome base playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As for this device, we'll continue to cover the HP Chrome base in future videos for a more in-depth review and tutorials. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find the HP Chrome base and related items at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the unboxing. All items ship in a generic package. On top, we have the power supply and Bluetooth mouse and keyboard with included batteries. Now, underneath this, we'll actually have the Chrome base, which is certainly going to be well protected during shipping. So let's talk about the Chrome base. First setup is quick and easy, and usually can be completed in 15 minutes to half an hour if you have a previous Chrome OS backup. This Chrome base features a 21 and a half inch rotatable touchscreen, a highlight feature of this all-in-one computer. This allows the display to be placed in either portrait or landscape using a 90 degree rotation by a one finger. The complete assembly is also heavy enough so it won't move around when performing rotations. There's also enough resistance to leave the display halfway through rotation, which means that you're not going to lose control of the display as you rotate it. This also means that the content on the display is also rotated as the screen is rotated. Portrait mode provides enhanced productivity when it comes to reading or writing, as this position allows you to see more information without having to scroll. For example, almost two pages of a Google Doc can be seen in this orientation here. Now, if we rotate the display back to landscape mode, you're going to see that everything is going to look wider and we're going to see less of the longer length but we'll have easier access to the top toolbar as well as the side toolbar, which includes other options. So for example, if I wanna tap on Google Keep, we could tap on that, it's going to pull out the sidebar and everything is still going to look pretty good. I'll still be able to see all of my Google Doc, but I'll be able to see that sidebar as well. Now, if we rotate back to portrait mode, you can see that everything is going to look a little bit more squeezed together. It's going to be hard to see the Google Doc so in portrait mode, you may not want a sidebar open. The screen orientation is also great for games like Skyforce Reloaded or Quick Checkers, which also work well with either touch functionality or mouse use. When it comes to landscape mode, this Chrome base is also great for multitasking by taking two windows and snapping them next to one another. And this allows to see both of the windows with good detail while also being able to work between them. As for the touch functionality of this display, it works really well. The display features a half inch thick black bezel with white trim that provides just the right amount of contact area to place your finger so you can rotate the display without interacting with the display's contents. On the top left edge of the bezel is Chrome Brandon while a camera sits in the top middle. So what is up everyone? This is video coming from the HP Chrome base and it also gives you an opportunity to hear what the mic sounds like. And I've also included some pictures here so that you can see what photography looks like as well on here. Obviously this device is going to be great for things such as video or Teams calls. Above the camera is a privacy slider to either cover the camera, which snaps into place, or cover the camera and mute the mic. The base features a thin gray layer of fabric similar to the chalk variation seen on Google smart speakers. This means that this chrome base blends in with these devices nicely. The rear of the base features a power button with LED indicator, headphone and microphone combo, two USB-C ports, and two USB-A ports. A volume rocker can be found on the right side of the base and is easy to see and access. Dual 5 watt speakers by B&O are also found in the base, which work great for games, audio, and video. Here's a quick sample of some music. In 
And here's a sample of Sky Force Reloaded. <laughs> The headphone mic combo puts it in a hard to find location when the user is at the front of the chrome base. An aux cable will also have to be long enough to reach you from the back of the device and even if it is long enough, most of the time it finds its way between your hands and the keyboard. That being said, it's probably best to opt for Bluetooth headphones or earbuds. Next we have the compact keyboard and mouse. These units are a primary color of white with gray labeling. The keyboard measures 11 inches by 4.5 inches and the mouse 2.5 by 4 and 3 quarters. Each device requires two AAA batteries. Accessing the batteries in the mouse is done by prying the top cover off from the base itself from the rear of the mouse. Now once pried off, that gives us access to the batteries. Now reinstalling the cover is done by placing the back of the cover onto the back portion of the mouse and then pressing the front portions into place. Initial keyboard and mouse pairing occur automatically and are completed via a pairing code shown on the display of the Chrome base. Now after this initial pairing, both of these devices connect quickly to the Chrome base simply by giving an input. Keyboard performance is good, featuring good travel, response, and clicks. Mouse performance is also good, featuring good response from travel and the scroll wheel, as well as good left and right clicks. So overall, this Chrome base is great for productivity and content consumption. Now stay tuned because I'll be looking to explain this device in further detail in more videos. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on if you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful worth watching and listening to. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, Leon checking out.